Library of Heaven's Path Chapter 4, Slapping Face I The tremor from the Library of Heaven's Path just now caused his attention to be concentrated in his mind and he was still in a dazed state. Furthermore, he didn't even know what the other person's punching routine was, so how the hell could he guide him? Teacher Zhang, please correct my flaws. Lu Yang stepped forward and bent over completely. By one side, Wang Ying blinked her eyes. She wants to see how this expert she had just met would guide him. Ken. Everyone's gaze concentrated on him. If he didn't speak soon, he would only end in embarrassment. Just as Zhang Xian was about to spout bullshit, he suddenly remembered Lu Yang's flaws that were recorded in the book in the library. He didn't know whether what was recorded on it was true or not. However, given the situation, it was probably impossible for him to make something up on the spot. Thus, he could only buck up his courage to say, there are many flaws in your punch routine, a total of 12 of them. Haha, <laughs> he said that there are many flaws in there, 12 of them. I didn't hear wrongly, did I? This is the funniest joke I have heard. This soaring flower fist may not be very advanced, but it is one of the most common skills in the entire kingdom and is known as the basic fist. After thousands of years of simplification and refining, although it cannot be considered as perfect, he actually says that there are 12 flaws. A bunch of lies. He probably couldn't discern anything, that's why he decided to make things up. Initially, the surrounding crowd was still pondering over what he would say. The moment he opened his mouth, every one of them burst into laughter. Soaring Flower Fist was one of the most basic punching routines of the Tianxian Kingdom. It was similar to the Taizhi Chang Quan, as long as one was practicing martial arts, they would have to learn it first. After thousands of years of refinement by countless experts, though it didn't hold much might, but it was well reputed for its lack of flaws. Even more so, some people called it the flawless fists. For such a punching routine, that fellow actually claimed that there were 12 flaws in it. What kind of joke was it? Ignoring the fact that he scored zero for his teacher qualification examination, even if the principal were to come over, he probably won't be able to point out so many flaws. Oh. Teacher Zhang sure is a genius, to be able to find 12 flaws in the soaring flower fists. Do enlighten us. Apparently, Cao Xiong didn't expect Zhang Xian to be so boastful and to say such words the moment he opened his mouth. Excited, his eyes twinkled. He purposely said those words to push Zhang Xian into a corner. Even despite hearing the words from the crowd, Zhang Xian remained expressionless. However, his heart couldn't help but beat erratically. He didn't expect that the Lu Yang fellow would use a punch routine everyone was aware of. His previous self would definitely be aware of it. However, given that he just transcended over, the other person's memory had yet to fully merge with his. However, even though he was a librarian in his previous life, he was still a transcender with an entirely different set of knowledge. Not to mention, his skin was thick. After rolling his eyes, he said, why, you don't believe it? It isn't that I don't want to guide him, but that you all do not trust me. Since you don't want to do as I guided you to. Then, you all can't blame me for it. Wang Ying, let's go. This kind of gamble is pointless. Hold it there, we trust you. Do enlighten us. Seeing that he was on the verge of leaving, Cao Xiong immediately stopped him. He could tell that the other party is intentionally coming up with exaggerated figures, so that other people would refuse to trust him and he could make use of this opportunity to sneak away. However, it wasn't easy for him to grasp hold of this opportunity to teach him a lesson, so how could he give up at this point? That. Seeing that he was unable to sneak away, Zhang Xian could only take out the book compiled by the library once again. If I die, so be it. Since there's no backing out now, he stared at the flaws recorded in the book and looked through the twelve of them once again. Then, his gaze fell on the last one. 
he grinned at his teeth and spoke, the punch routine you just used is right-handed. Let me give you a suggestion. Try using your left hand to strike the stone pillar. Since it was a special privilege granted to a transcender, there was a chance that it could be correct. Besides, even if the information on it wasn't accurate, he couldn't think of a better reason to worm his way out at this point. Try using the left-handed version. This can be also considered as guidance. What kind of joke is this? One's left hand is normally weak. If he were to execute it with his left fist, won't he be screwing up the entire punch routine? The crowd first became stunned before a commotion broke out. All of them stared at Zhang Xian with looks of contempt. Everyone knew that the left hand was weaker than the right. Given the shockwave from the fist Lu Yang just executed, he obviously wasn't left-handed. Yet now, to ask him to execute it with his left hand. What kind of joke is this? Lu Yang, try using teacher Zhang's method so that he can give it up. Apparently, Cao Xiong didn't expect Zhang Xian to say that. He was so excited that he was on the verge of skipping with joy, but he still yelled a command to Lu Yang. Even though he just accepted him as a student, he was extremely sure that Lu Yang was more skilled with his right and that he wasn't a left-handed. If he were to really execute it that way, the force behind it probably wouldn't even hit 30 kilograms. For a student to hit 62 kilograms before guidance and below 30 kilograms after guidance, this would definitely cause Zhang Xian's reputation to fall to the gutters. Let's see whether he can still remain so smug. Yes. Lu Yang snickered coldly and executed the punch routine again. He was very aware of the fact that he wasn't left-handed. To get him to execute the blow with his left hand. A load of bullshit. Soaring flower fist was the basic fist he had been practicing since young. Although he wasn't very used with the inversion of left and right, he soon got over it. Even though the shockwave from the fist created a strong gale, regardless of whether it was his strength or proficiency, it seemed to be worse than the previous one. Could it be, my privilege as a transcender is a sham? Zhang Xian was very nervous. Other people's privilege when they transcend included an old grandfather who could just casually enlighten them. As long as they were to follow his instruction devotedly, they would be bound to have no problems. Yet, he just had to get a library with all sorts of messy things written in the book. If what was written in the book was false, he would definitely get expelled from the school. Who? Very quickly, he finished the routine. Lu Yang walked over to the stone pillar and raising his left fist, he smashed it in. Wang. A series of digits appeared. 1. Ha ha, to think it would be in the tens. When the digit 1 appeared on it, Cao Xiong burst into laughter as an exhilarated expression appeared on his face. However, before he could finish his words, they got stuck in his throat. His eyeballs were about to fall onto the ground. 123. 123 kilograms. The crowd who had intended to mock him were scared foolish and they trembled uncontrollably. Previously, Lu Yang's blow did 62 kilograms and now that it had risen to 123 kilograms, that was almost a single fold. That was, almost a 100% increase. Was that for real? Even the teacher who scored first in the teacher qualification examination throughout the campus, during his first guidance, couldn't possibly cause his student's result to increase by a single fold. I. I. Is this from me? Even the person in question, Lu Yang, was stunned. He stared foolishly at the rock pillar in disbelief. He knew that he isn't left-handed. However, never could he imagine that his left-hand strength would hold so much strength. That was a single fold more compared to his right. The crowd was astonished. Zhang Xian almost leapt from all the joy surging through his body. It's true. At this instant, he could finally confirm that the flaws compiled by the library were true. To be able to see through the skills a person was cultivating in and his weakness. 
this privilege of a transcender was really going to bash through the heavens. So, how was it? Your guidance has led to a 20% improvement while mine has led to a 100% improvement. Teacher CAO, what else do you want to say? Zhang Xian snickered. I, CAO Xiang's face turned pale as he felt a burning sensation on his face. Initially, he proposed this competition to see the other party make a fool out of himself. In the end, the one who was made a fool of was himself. Retrieving a jade token from his embrace, he bit on his finger and a drop of fresh blood fell on it. Lu Yang, I am revoking your status as my student. You can now acknowledge teacher Zhang as your teacher. After saying that, he glanced at Zhang Xian, you don't have to be too smug about it. This time, you were lucky. The next time we compete, I will make sure that your reputation is ruined. Then, he turned around to leave. This time, not only did his reputation took a blow, he lost a student and even got slapped hard on his face. It was one thing to lose to other teachers. However, the main crux of the problem was that this fellow was the one who scored a zero in the teacher qualification examination, the worst teacher in the entire academy. Teacher, teacher. Watching as CAO Xiong departed, Lu Yang's face darkened. Although he managed to achieve a good result under Zhang Xian's guidance, he, like CAO Xiong, believed that it was only due to luck. He didn't believe that he would have this kind of skills. All right, you are now my student. Hurry up and take out your identity card. Zhang Xian didn't care what he was thinking about. A victory in a bet had given him a new student, so he was still busy celebrating over it. He casually tossed a jade token over. Although Lu Yang wasn't really willing to become his student, he knew that he had to give in to the results of the bet. If he didn't acknowledge this Zhang Xian as his teacher, the other teachers would definitely reject him. Thus, he could only drip his blood onto this jade token to complete the verification. Tomorrow, meet here for lessons. After finish dealing with Lu Yang, Zhang Xian didn't say anything excessive. He looked at Wang Ying and said those words faintly before walking out of the canteen. Returning back to his lecture hall, Zhang Xian delved into his mind without second thoughts to examine the Library of Heaven's Path closely. After examining for a while, he finally understood a thing or two about it. As long as the person executed his skill or martial art before him, it would immediately compile into a book of their flaws. Haha, <laughs> I have really struck it rich this time. With this thing in my hand, I would be able to see through any flaws at one go. I don't believe that I will still score a zero for the next teacher qualification examination. Frenzied joy raced through his heart. As a transcender, Zhang Xian finally felt some enthusiasm for the future. Taizhi Chang Quan Dash literally means ancestor Long Fist. A brief introduction of Long Fist, it is a close combat skill which emphasizes stretching one's limbs to the maximum. It is a high aggressive style whose motto is the best defense is a long offense, source, Wikipedia. Taizhi Chang Quan is known as one of the six great Long Fists in China. There are multiple names to it, depending on the region, but it is well established and influenced the creation of many other fists in the future, thus giving it the title of Mother of a Hundred Fists, Source, Beidou.